my Xiaomi robot vacuum started leaving black streaks across the floor and I found that it was because its tires had started disintegrating and turning sticky. Today, I will be replacing these sticky tires and the process is really simple. The replacement tires arrived today and they are really inexpensive. I've got this from Shopee for $3 including delivery. They look slightly different from the original tires and have a thicker inner surface but let's see if it fits. The first thing we have to do is to remove the screws that secure the bottom plastic cover. These are normal Phillips screws but watch out for one of them that is hidden under the sticker. If the cover doesn't budge, it means that there's still another screw holding on to it. In my case, the manufacturer stuck a white sticker on the screw head. With all the screws removed, the cover should be able to be lifted off. But oh wait, looks like it's blocked by the side brush and we'll have to take that out as well. With the cover removed, the internals of the Xiaomi robot vacuum looks very modular and we can further remove each wheel set by unscrewing three screws. Repeat the process with the other wheel set by removing the three screws holding the wheel set as well. I think it's really great that the parts are really modular and it allows easy access for repairing and replacement. I think more products should be made this way and if you are looking for a product that will last you a long time, certainly look for a product that is designed this way. My robot vacuum has been serving me well for the past 5 years and uh, I believe it will it will continue to do so for many years to come. The tyre on this side doesn't look so bad but we will go ahead and replace that as well. Now doing a size comparison, it looks like it is relatively similar and the texture also feels similar to the original tyre. And now we can proceed to scrape off the remaining tire from the wheel. Take your time. I took about 5 minutes to get each wheel clean enough to fit the new tires on. I wasn't able to scrape off all the residue from the wheel but I think it should be clean enough to put the new tyres on. The new tyres are a tight fit and takes a little bit of force to get the remaining last section of the tyre onto the wheel. But once they are on, they are quite secure. Some people recommend adding some glue in between the wheel and the tire but I doubt that is necessary because mine is already so tight and it is unlikely to slip. Now I will proceed to remove the old tire from the other wheel set. This tire is not as disintegrated as the other tire so it is a little bit more difficult to, to pry out. I even had to use a pen knife for this because the tire is so glued onto the wheel. With the new tires on, it is time to reassemble the wheel set. They are directional and they can only be fitted on one way. To make the reassembly process easier, I'm going to put on the screws first. Same thing on the other side, just put the three screws back 
on the wheel set. Lastly, put on the lower cover and screw it back in and not forgetting the side brush as well. <laughs> 